everybody. Welcome to Pedro's Happy Place. How's everybody doing today? I hope everybody's doing well. Um, today, I would like to talk to you about a new um, series I'm going to do this year. And I'm not sure how often I'm going to be doing these. I'd like to do once a week, but I don't know. We'll just have to wait and see. But it's called a yarn highlight. And it's just one yarn that I would like to highlight, um, talk about, you know, just kind of show you the yarn, something that is either new, I usually don't get brand new yarn, like, you know, like it just come out and I buy, it's usually new to me. So let me just say new to me yarn, or maybe it's a new <clears throat> indie, um, indie dyer that I've just purchased their yarn from. So anyway, um, yeah, let me get a hook, and I want to show you the first yarn. I know that sounded kind of weird, a hook. What does a hook have to do with the yarn that you're showing me? Well, <clears throat> this is a new-to-me yarn. Okay, it's not something brand new, but I found it in Joann's, and I rarely go into Joann's, but when I saw this yarn, I thought, I need to have that, and then I went back, like, the, the next day, and I got another one of the different color. That's how much I liked it. <clears throat> so, and, and when I say liked it, it's a matter of I like the look and the feel of it. I haven't tried it out yet, so we're going to try it out together today. So, <clears throat> this is Karen Colorama Halo. I, I don't think you can guess why they call it Halo. Ha, ha, ha. Hey, <laughs> so um, this is a, a, a very much haloed yarn, not, a, and it, it's, this is more of a fur and not so much of a eyelash like um, a latte cake would have, okay? So let me tell you a, a little bit about it. <clears throat> it's considered a five weight bulky. Um, now, I, I say it's a four weight, but when you put in the eyelash part of it or the halo part of it, it gives it a little bit more poof to make it a five bulky <laughs> because I usually don't like working with a five weight yarn, but this, this I will work with. Okay. It um, recommends six millimeter knitting needles, a six millimeter crochet hook. It is um, machine washable and dryable, no iron and no dry clean. <clears throat> it is 71% acrylic, 18 nylon, and 11 polyester. It is super soft, very soft. I would say it rivals the latte cake but where the latte cake feels more silky, this feels more soft. I don't know if that makes sense. The softness in the latte cake, in my opinion, is that it it's like a silky soft. This is a, um, oh, like a cotton ball soft, okay? So um, it is eight and a half ounces. 227 grams, 40, 481 yards, or 440 meters, okay? Um, now, let's see here. There is a pattern on here, and I guess it's on the other side. Now, I have never used an OGO. I'm one of those that, okay, I'm holding out, but I finally succumbed to the halo, to the to the Ogo, all right? So um, there is a pattern here for this scarf and it says it requires one um, one of these. I don't even, what, what do you call it? A donut, it's not even a donut. I don't know, what do you, a wheel? <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so this scarf takes one to knit. Of course, I don't knit. So let's open this up together because, I, like I said, I've never used this before. I want to try not to um, 
mess up the okay there is no nothing on the back of this so i guess that means you need to actually go online to to uh to get that pattern i'm not sure let me see maybe it's on the back of this other one here um, Nope, nothing on the back of that one either. Okay, well, how do we do this? Okay, so the directions say snip. Okay, well, I gotta go get some scissors. I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my scissors and I see, okay, so I do see this little plastic taggy thing I want I don't I don't want that plastic taggy thing. So let me see if I can somehow carefully Oh, was I not supposed to pull that out? Oh no, did I mess that up? Pull. It does say pull. Whew. Okay. Okay, so that's out. Oh, okay. So I guess you start at either end. Is that right? Y'all tell me if I'm doing this wrong because I've never I've never done this before. Okay, so I'm going to I'm just gonna do a regular um I don't have any other hooks here with me. So I'm just gonna use this six millimeter. I'm gonna just try and I'll, I do, what I do want to try to do is um, uh, do a little bit up and then frog it. Because you know how these little haloed yarns, sometimes they, um, they have a tendency to the mess up when you're trying to frog. The only haloed yarn that I have found that does not... Uh, make a mess when you try to frog it that has been the uh, latte cakes and I think it's because I don't know is there like a coating on that yarn or something that causes it to be very um, what's the word I'm looking for slick and it just kind of like to me it feels I, I, I don't know if I'm in in a in la la land but to me it almost feels like it leaves my hands feeling like almost coated with something when i work with with the latte cakes that could just be me thinking really weird but okay so let's uh i'm just doing a half double crochet in the back bump and that's what's taking me so long i'm doing it in the back bump okay Oh, that looks really pretty. Let me do one more row um, so we can see if there's any kind of stitch definition or anything. Now, I do like the fact that, you know, this is the way it's wound on that um, tube. I don't, what do you call that? I don't know. But I do like the way it's wound. However, I don't like the fact that I feel like I'm having to like use two hands to unwind because I have to hold it up and then pull off of it. If you have any other way that you normally do this, please let me know. Okay, so uh, here we go. All right, so I've made two rows. Let me um, show you. Oh, that's very pretty. Very pretty. Let's see, I'm having to unwind it. Okay. Now, I know I'm not having the camera down like a lot of people do on their tutorials, you know, to show, but it does look very pretty the way it works up. Okay. I can definitely see the stitches. And the halo, um, I think this is a good size hook. 
if you made if you used a uh, a little bit larger hook let me let me get a different larger hook let me see if i can find um a k hook real quick and let me see if i can work a couple um rows with a k hook and let's see the different stitch definition okay that we get okay so i have um the hook that i had been using was a um furls j hook now i'm going to try a susan bates uh k hook okay with the ergonomic handle these are my favorite by the way i used to not use susan bates but never really liked them but i don't know there's something about them okay now this time i'm gonna try like i said i'm gonna try the um uh okay maybe i can't talk <laughs> and crochet at the same time oh, i'm not i'm not familiar with this okay so now i'm gonna try a double crochet with the um with this larger hook and i can already see well obviously it's a a double crochet and not a half double um i wanted to see the drapiness of it because this is very light and airy this yarn is very beautiful i i'm really loving this yarn um it reminds me a little bit of another yarn that i had used i have to think about it um think about the yarn that it, i'm looking in my stash to see what it was but it seems to me like it it works up like one of those karen cakes um but not as soft yeah i'm thinking of the crystal cakes it's lightweight like the, those crystal cakes, but it is, this is softer to me than the crystal cakes. I, I am really digging this yarn. It works up nice and, <clears throat> and fast. And this would be amazing for so many different projects. Okay, I'm gonna do this one more row and then I'm gonna uh, hold it up. <clears throat> And then I'm going to do a final, um, thank you guys for being patient with me. Like I said, I'm not set up. I don't know how to do, well, I know how to do it, but it, um, it doesn't work real well. Um, my camera, my phone does not do, um, the, um, filming very well from overhead. Okay. Okay. So here we go. We've got the half double down here and I got three rows of the double crochet. Look how pretty that looks. It's very drapey, very, I mean, very soft and lightweight, airy. It's very airy. Um, it's, it's, you know, this kind of yarn would be substantial um but i'm thinking that this works more like a four weight than a five weight does for sure but there you go that's what it looks like now let's try to frog it okay frogs real well okay i am really digging this not a single issue i love this yarn okay so i'm thinking i might have to go back there was a sale on this yarn i don't know if it's still on sale but i'm loving that yarn <laughs> again it is karen colorama halo um this colorway is i don't even know where they have the um color if there's a colorway well, um, okay yes rosemary frost and this is the shades of green okay 
Um, I know that they have like two different shades of blue and I love that it's a very slow, I mean, a very slow transition to the darker color and it's just very subtle, subtle. That's a very good way to describe it. But you know, the idea that you can now just rewind it, not too, not too shabby, not too shabby. Um, yeah, they had, uh, I think one or two colors of pink. I think they had purple. Um, they had orange and red and yellow. Um, yeah, there were several different colorways. So I found this at Joann's. Um, and like I said, it had been on sale. I think they're normally $10. And I think I found mine. Um, I think I paid $7 for mine. Um, if that, um, it might've been, it might've been just a little bit less. I don't know. Can't remember. And I just re-raveled, is that a word? Re-raveled? Re-wrapped all of it back up. So I'm digging it. I'm really digging it, y'all. Okay. Now it's like Mr. Happy got me an Ogo years, two years ago, and I haven't used it. So now I'm going to have to go back and use it, although it's not this colorama. So I don't think it'll feel as soft. But uh, anyway, that's what I have got for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. Um, if you've used this yarn before, what do you think of it? Did you like it? Did you enjoy working with it? Or did you have problems with it? If you did have problems, what were they? And uh, would you go out and buy it again? How much would you pay for it? That's a good question. Would you would you pay asking price for it? Um, uh, if it's something that you really like, I always feel like if it's something that you really, really like, you don't mind paying full price for it. That's just my thing. So I hope you guys enjoy your day. Um, have a good one and God bless you. Bye-bye.